we're about to uh, take the car to its first charging. We're gonna drive to Royce City and charge the car up. And uh, Electrify America has a charging, a really super fast charging station. And so we're going to test how fast we can charge this car up to 520 miles. Well, we're probably gonna charge it to 90% and we're gonna take you along with us while we do that. So stay tuned and uh, watch what happens. ICE folk. <laughs> All right, we're arriving. Electrify America charging stations. Oh, I can get one. All the way at the end, excellent. But it's on the wrong side. Bummer. Suppose I can still do that. So So I move charge ports, I pull up to the slowest port, and then the gentleman who was uh, driving the Kia hybrid. Uh, was nice enough to tell me that I needed to move to the next one because the one I was at had 50. The one at which I had pulled in <laughs> had 50 kilowatts and I need 350 kilowatts. So that's where we're going. See you in a second. Okay, we're here now. We're going to start charging. All right. So, the Lucid at the Electric Fi, Electrify America charging station, it, we waited about 40 minutes just to get started charging because for some reason we ran into an issue here with the vehicle, um, I don't know, it, the, the Lucid app wouldn't, wasn't recognized by the vehicle, so, or the charging station. So we had to rely on Electrify America's customer service to help us with that. And again, the woman Paula was very nice. She set us up at the free charging station while we worked it out. So we did get charging, but disappointingly, we we're only charging at 150 kilowatt per hour, 150 kilowatt hours, um, when we should have been charging at close to 350. So I understand that there are other factors that can 
or can affect the charge and forget the noise on on the parking lot but that's significantly different than what i was expecting so i think there may have been just an issue or may she probably set me up at that free charge at a lower rate i have to work this out with lucid and electrify america to find out what was going on i've got a number that was provided me and i will report back but this is not the best first charging session uh, with my lucid air dream edition so hopefully we'll have better luck on the next one while we work this out anyway that's done i was at 259 miles we're going to time this right now it's about five minutes in and we'll see what happens uh, within the next 20 to 30 minutes we're gonna grab something to eat so we're eating while we're waiting for charging we're at panda express but i did want to talk a little bit about what we're seeing on the screen so i'm showing a shot right now of charging uh, we are charging up at a good clip it's still not fast but it looks like you know we're charging a mile maybe every averaging every two to three seconds so that's not bad so if you figure you're gonna get 50 miles 60 miles um in about half an hour or so maybe 25 minutes that's not too bad uh, I, we can take that but we should be getting maybe 100 miles in about 20 minutes right rather than 60 miles so we're gonna look into that with lucid but in the meantime that's a at least a good look on how we're on their free charging setting uh, we should be getting the premium fast charge of 350 kilowatt hours yeah. Can't have everything, but we'll check back and uh, we'll let you know. Right, so we just finished charging. It took about 41 minutes to get us up to 463 miles, and I think we stopped at 185, uh, something like that. So, 80 miles in 41 minutes. That's that's not too bad. Could have been faster though. Um, we could have had. It should have been maybe half of that, honestly, because we're only charging at 150 kilowatt hours. So. We'll figure that out, but it's still pretty cool. First charge in the bag. Now we're heading back. I'm reaching out to Lucid customer support so I can make sure that my charging is taken care of because because it took me 40 minutes just to get to charging because of Electrify America helped us out. Hi, sorry. You say your name was Kim? Uh, Kim. H I E N. Oh, Kim. How are you? Um, so my name is Sean. Uh, I'm a Lucid Dream owner, Dream Edition owner, and I had a hard time charging from my first charge at an Electrify America station. The customer service person there said that I need to call you guys for help because apparently there's some further configuration that needs to take place. So, uh, call me. Take a look. Okay. okay. 
Um, what's your first one? Nice. Are you still at the charging station? As no, no. She gave us a free session, and um, oh. so we finished charging. I'm at home now. Okay, well, let me just um, open up this profile and get your vehicle information. I'm going to look at this a little bit more. Okay. See what we can put on our end, okay? Okay, looks like everything is, should be good on our end. Um, your plug-in charge, uh, so the VIN that you, the car's um, time to already has a plug-in charge certificate, meaning that you should have been able to plug the vehicle in a charge. Can you tell me more about what the, what the issue was? So, what it said on the screen? Sure. So, what happened, I plugged in, and on my app, it, it never came up with Electrify America, which did happen when she finally set up the free charging. But it never, on the app, Electrify America never popped up. So, it just said set vehicle charge limit, or set charge limit, and I would set the limit, and then it would cycle and just keep cycling and then it, that would go away and it would say set charge limit again. On the car, in, on the car dash, or on the car display, it said the same thing, set charge limit. Um, and I never got to an actual charge after plugged in, after plugging in rather. So that's the cycle that kept happening. On the Electrify America right, screen, yeah, sorry. Uh -huh. On the screen, Electrify America it just said um, processing payment and it would just cycle and cycle. And the thing that strikes me as strange is it kept telling you to set your charge limit and it wouldn't allow you to do anything, right? It wouldn't allow you to charge. That was it, yeah. It would never get past because you, you have a charge limit set. It's set at 90%. Yep. Um, and that was already preset before you got there, right? That's correct. Hmm. Okay. I'm so sorry to have it. Um, I don't know exactly what might be wrong on our end. Looks like everything is already been cleaned up. So as far as you can see, I don't need to do anything. I just show up at the Electrify America charging station and make sure I have this, the fast charger selected and then plug in. And then Electrify America should pop up or what, what would I expect? No, nothing actually happens to pop up. So plug in charging means you plug in the vehicle and it begins to charge. Um, you might see the process on the screen, but it shouldn't ask you for a credit card. It shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't ask you for a payment or anything. Okay. Um, No, I'm, I'm waiting on the install for my home charger, but when I do, I still hope that there's <laughs> there's not going to be a problem doing this, right? Yeah, we, I, I can't see it being a problem, but can you just please call us? Um, sure. We can always get Electrify America on the line to do some troubleshooting, but from my end, I have to say everything looks like it's been installed and you're enrolled. You'll okay. even see that on your, um, your mobile app. You'll see that you're enrolled in the Electrify America. You can see your plan summary and everything, so... I will most certainly do that. Thank you very much, Hannah. I appreciate it. And uh, maybe it's just, I just needed the initial thing. So maybe because that did take that, that everything hopefully would be fine. But I appreciate it. Thanks for your help. Okay, well, we're 21st out of funding. That means our team part right here for you, okay? Sounds great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. Have a good day. You too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'll keep you posted on the adventures with my Lucid Dream Edition.